we've left uh, Port Ellen and uh, we're off to Gia and it's a bit of a shame that, um, that there's no wind um, so we're motoring um, at the moment uh, but I've got a whole load of uh, ropes that just need a bit of TLC so while it's like this I might as well get on with that Can no. I just not enjoy being whipped in private? <laughs> anyway, in for a penny, in for a pound. Um, we've done two whippings. Uh, we've um, sorted out a new rope for Mr. Blue, and uh, we've been problems with our fender step. So we're getting rid of this old uh, cord, Bev. Can you show us the old cord? This old. Dyneema which is as stiff as cardboard yeah and um, it's just not holding the knot any longer so um, we stepped on the other day and uh, our foot kept going down and uh, one of us nearly went off the boat and into the marinas because the, the knot gave way at the critical moment yeah that was so, me again <laughs> okay I wasn't going to mention any names but we've got this lovely 8mm stuff so we'll use it and yes I know it 8 mils not big enough it'll wear out well, of course it'll wear out. Everything wears out. It's on a boat, but when it wears out, we replace it, so it's not a big deal. Beverly's become a um, a convert to the halyard knot. So how the heck do you do one of those, Bev? Like this. That goes round there, round there. Chases the rabbit round the whole four times. <laughs> oh, Beverly! I want to see <laughs> what the heck you do. And then, and then basically you hang the poor victim until he's dead, dead, dead. Right. It does look rather good though. <laughs> but, sorry, please try and do that a little bit slower, Bev. I actually want to know what you do. Right. The tapeworm goes down the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It goes up, round. Hang on, need a bit more length. It goes up, round, over itself, locking this. And then the last turn goes underneath the knot so that when this pulls down it locks it and stops it coming back out again. Hmm. So this is locked up here and that's locked down there. Yeah. So that's apparently locked. this abomination is what's putting our mainsail up and down the mast. So hmm. um, but yeah the fender step has all been sorted. So Beverly what's that sound we can hear? It's only the autopilot. Yeah because the engines are Oh, yeah. We've managed to get a little bit of wind. We've got two knots of apparent wind or about... I don't believe the display. I've got more than two knots of wind. I can feel more than two knots. Um, we've got enough wind anyway. We should be steering, really, we should be steering another 30 degrees to starboard. But I don't care. We've got wind. We're going to sail on this course till we get close to Giga. And then we'll simply just either tack if there's sufficient wind put the engine on if there isn't but we're sailing and that's that's the beautiful bit it's beautiful it's quiet it's lovely and she's balanced on her sails <sighs> yeah I just, I, I just love it i think we're both the same way aren't we bev yeah. yes we'll use the engine to get where we're going but you know what the minute we can get the sail up bang up it goes <laughs> absolutely it's up This is a uh, mooring just off uh, Giga Island and as you can see there's mooring, um, it's a right proper mooring field this 
And you can anchor, which is what that uh, yacht over there is doing. He's anchoring. Um, Bev's just finishing off the... Um, putting the sail bag on. There's a ferry here, but in comparison to the Mersey, it should be all right. It's absolutely nothing. But yeah, this is a, a little mooring um, just off the boat, off uh, an island, off Giga Island. And um, we always try and little do a little challenge at all our little things. And it's not a particularly big challenge, I know, but we haven't had salty sausage off the back of the boat for a long time. So we've got to get salty sausage down so that we can go and explore this little island of Giga. I think that should be good fun. A bit later the weather improved and we went out for dinner. Yeah. So you're in the boathouse restaurant. Oh yes, I'm going to go for fish and chips. I, I'm really looking forward to the time we can actually catch our own fish, but Bev tried today and it didn't go well. <laughs> but we'll get there. Getting about, about gluten free products. And as far as we're concerned, that's a darn good thing. This is the hotel that we could see from the yacht. We actually thought it was a church with a sort of low building with the long windows. Um, but no, it's actually the Gia Hotel. <sighs> well, Bev and I are just here at this little pink dot while this pink vessel here in the middle of um, the Straits is our fat friend Patrick Lane from... It's just from Patrick Lane, isn't it, Bev? Yeah, that's right. Uh, the channel Patrick Lane. Bev uh, just gave him a shout out, but um, I forgot to press record. But we had a nice conversation and um, as you can see, He's sailing there, and we're just here. The time had come to move on, so Salty Sausage was hoisted back aboard and secured in her straps. So then, Gainer. We're under motor. Yeah. Because the wind is bang on the nose again. And every yacht we've seen today has been under motor, hasn't it? Yeah, because even um, even though we we've got it bang on the nose, it's not doing an awful lot really. We're making most of the uh, wind, to be honest. Um, but uh, we've left Gaia, uh, and we're going to a place I can't even pronounce. In Loch Swing. In Loch um, and it has a name that looks like it belongs in Wales, not Scotland. It certainly does because it's got double L's and a. And a it's wide. something like Tavelich or something like I that, but. Know. I certainly can't pronounce it. It's got an uh, horrendous cloud. Oh, yeah. Over there's Jura and she's hiding her Paps and Clyde. We're not too sure what the Paps are other than mountains, but I get the impression it's some sort of root local joke. Because they are distinctly rest shaped. Oh. What do you think, Skipper? Uh, well, Annie's really doing the hard work. I'm just keeping an eye out for everything and 
pots and stuff like that. But what I'm really enjoying at the moment is watching the gannets um, go into the water. But they're a bit too far away to uh, pick up on camera, but they just look phenomenal. I'll just point out, by the way, that Captain Picard and Captain Kirk never did a hands turn. They just said things like, Mr. Worf, engage. And, you know, a million men ran around below decks, pushed a thousand levers and made it all happen. And they just sort of sit there drinking their coffee going, engage. Okay, well, I've told Annie to engage. I've said, Annie, get on with it. Well, we're in and we're on the visitor. <laughs> and we're on the visitor mooring. And I have to say, it is absolutely beautiful here. Very picturesque. Somebody was asking us why we do videos. Well, I'll tell you now, we're certainly not in it for the money. Not at 200 and whatever subscribers we have. But what you do get is you get opportunities and you never know what an opportunity might be. Um, but tonight's opportunity is to go and meet some people who I've never met before. But they contacted us through our Facebook page and we're going to go and meet them. And, you know, why not? <laughs> well, we're off again and we're going to go over to that boat there. Went to see some friends, but unfortunately they weren't aboard. We're wandering around this uh, mooring field trying to find our boat. Yeah, I think this is um, what they use to uh, redo the moorings with. Well, Bab and I had a lovely time on the Seminole. I probably drank a little bit too much, but that's normal for me. <laughs> but, um, oh, yeah, we had a lovely time and um, they showed us some lovely anchorages and things like that. And I think that's what I'm gonna we're going to do next is... Um, we're going to challenge ourselves to do some anchoring because we haven't done any anchoring this year. We've done some, but we've, uh, we're sidling up. We're sidling up to the anchoring. We did some, we've done two mooring fields now. So I think that's what we're going to challenge ourselves to do next. It's a, it's a nice anchorage and they showed us quite an, a lot of nice places that sound like a really nice place to anchor. So let's see what we're going to do next. I'd started to make broth for dinner when something cropped up. Yeah, gotta go visiting. Yeah, we found one of the f yachts from. Uh, oh, that's from Liverpool. Turned up. So we're gonna go and say Bev's gonna go and say hello to them. <sighs> Beverly and I are hoping to buy a chart because what I currently have of this area is a disgrace. I know we've got the um, electronic charts, but I really do like a good chart. You back then? Yeah. Just gotta put the sausage away now. Look at this. Doesn't always go according to plan, does it, Bev? No, oh, well, I'm attached to the boat, that's good enough. And as a bonus, dinner was ready. <laughs> <laughs>